The University of Southern California is now canceling its main commencement ceremony after mass pro-Palestine demonstrations on campus. Now, demonstrators at other campuses worry their commencement may be next. These students have been tased, arrested, sprayed with gas, and now some losing out on a pivotal part of their academic career. But this morning, a sign for them that their calls for action are being heard straight from the very people they're aiming to protect with their protest, the children of Gaza. We love the students of Harvard University. Here the students of Harvard University. We respect the students of Yale University. Thank you, the students of Columbia University. We respect you. We hear you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We hear you, thank you, and we love you. That's the message from Palestinian children in Gaza to the students coast to coast leading their pro-Palestinian demonstrations. Columbia students responded on Instagram saying in part, please remember what we are fighting for and remember the resilient people of Gaza. Protests against Israel's conduct in the war have erupted on at least 67 college campuses over the past 10 days. And tensions are continuing to rise as administrators on many campuses are quickly sending in the police to quash protests they say are not authorized. About 550 protesters have been arrested on at least 12 campuses across the country. The protests are stirring deep divisions. Demonstrators say their right to free speech is under attack. And many Jewish students tell us these protests are turning into anti-Semitic attacks against them. Let's get out to Austin, Texas with our national correspondent Thomas Hoppo, where we've seen demonstrations over the last several days. Thomas, what are you seeing on the ground? Well, campus here last night was a lot quieter uh, following Wednesday where there was over 50 arrests, but that wasn't necessarily the case everywhere in the country. Uh, you know, that wasn't the case over at Emory where a protester was tased. And last night, a group of 50-ish people sat on the lawn behind us here at UT Austin and discussed that they wanted to keep the ball rolling and bring attention to this pro-Palestinian movement. They sang songs, some members had instruments, and they dispersed quietly after a 10 p.m. university curfew without issue. Uh, but yesterday here at UT, earlier in the day, hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters gathered yesterday on the campus main mall for a demonstration. There was very limited police presence, unlike Wednesday when state troopers were deployed. And yesterday's demonstration also focused on free speech on campus with the president stating, we are all wrestling with how to juggle broad, important goals, including students safely, continuity and excellence in teaching and research and the right to express one's views and call for change. The university's decision to not allow Wednesday's event to go as planned was made because we had credible indications that the events organizers were trying to follow the pattern we see elsewhere using the apparatus of free speech and expression to severely disrupt a campus. I'm grateful that our campus has seen 13 pro-Palestinian events take place during the past several months, largely without incident, plus another one on Thursday. And I'm grateful to work in, play, in a place where people with different points of view come together to try and solve hard problems. But many pro-Palestinian students are now calling for his resignation after he asked state police to help with security on Wednesday. Uh, not only myself and my peers feel that the way that the police were brought in onto campus uh, and the way they acted were, was very aggressive. In fact, I would like to say that they were the aggressors. I would love to be able to use my voice on campus uh, because that's my first amendment right without being thrown in jail and uh, fear of repercussion at university. We spoke with the rabbi with the Jewish community here on campus who said the police presence helped the uh, help Jewish students seem safer. So the Jews on one hand are feeling grateful for the security of the police, the administration and for uh, Texas and Governor Abbott. On the other hand, everyone's being vigilant and we want security and safety for not just our community, but for everybody without a doubt. I do want to note that many Jewish students said that uh, they felt threatened with this pro-Palestinian movement, but we spoke with pro-Palestinian organizers of this event that said that this is not an anti-Semitic message. This is more of a pro-Palestinian movement. But I do want to note that we did have, a, we did witness a conversation between uh, that Jewish rabbi and also a pro-Palestinian organizer of the event who had a very good dialogue. They may have not agreed on everything they were talking about, but they want people to know that there needs to be a dialogue spoken about the complex issue that is going on. Alex, Alexa. 
All right, national correspondent Thomas Hoppo in Austin for us. Thank you.